Get ready to discover the real deal about your favorite Hallmark stars. We're spilling all the details of their off-screen lives and revealing some surprises that'll leave you shocked. Taylor Cole is an American actress who has made a big splash in the world of Hallmark movies. With her stunning looks and natural talent, she has become a familiar face on the channel that we all know and love. But before she lit up our screens, did you know Taylor had a successful career in the fashion industry? Yes, she did. Shocking, right? Coming all the way from Texas, Taylor started her journey as a model, strutting her stuff on runways and gracing the pages of fashion magazines. Her unique features and graceful presence caught the eye of industry insiders, opening up plenty of opportunities in the glamorous world of fashion. But little did we know that she had even more to offer. She opened up about her acting journey and said, Visiting, and they said, do you want to go on auditions? And I said, sure. So I went out on an audition for CW, for the head of CW at the time, and she was like, yes, send her out everything. Making the jump from the catwalk to the silver screen, Taylor Cole burst onto the acting scene in the hit TV series Summerland. Her role as Erica Spaulding proved that she had serious acting chops and wasn't just a pretty face. This breakthrough performance propelled her into the acting industry and set the stage for her future success. Soon enough, Taylor found her sweet spot on the Hallmark Channel. She quickly became a regular in their movies, stealing hearts with her captivating performances. But did you know she wasn't thrilled about her acting career and almost gave up? The actress had a passion for athletics and excelled as a junior Olympic level volleyball player during her high school years. This athletic background was highlighted in her biography on Crown Media, However, she eventually transitioned into the world of modeling and gained recognition for her appearance in a memorable and alluring commercial for Old Spice. Interestingly, Cole wasn't initially enthusiastic about pursuing a career in acting. In an honest confession to Monster and Critics, she admitted to being camera shy and not particularly excited about the acting industry. Despite her reservations, she quickly landed her first on-screen role as Erica Spaulding in the WB show Summerland which aired from 2004 to 2005. The series featuring former Hallmark actress Lori Loughlin marked her debut in television. Building on this early success, Cole went on to portray memorable characters in various TV shows such as Heroes, The Originals, and Two and a Half Men, to name a few, according to IMDb. At one point, Cole contemplated giving up on acting altogether until she landed a role in her first Hallmark movie, Appetite for Love, in 2016. In an interview with Monsters and Critics, she shared her personal journey, expressing the desire to feel a sense of fulfillment within herself. Discovering Hallmark was a turning point for her, as she realized the profound impact the network had on people's lives and the opportunity it provided for giving back. Eventually finding her place in the Hallmark family, Cole discovered a sense of purpose and fulfillment, recognizing the positive influence her work could have on others. Up next, Luke McFarlane, In recent times, not only have we seen actors play gay characters on screen, but there are also actors who are actually gay in real life. You see, he's not just your average actor, he's also got some serious musical talent too. This guy started off chasing his music dreams before diving into acting and making a splash on stage, on TV, and on the big screen. You might recognize him from shows like Brothers and Sisters and Killjoys or that awesome movie Over There, but here's the best part. Luke is also a proud member of the LGBTQ plus community. He came out as gay in 2008, and ever since then, he's been using his platform to speak up for queer rights. And get this, he even starred in a super cool film called Bros in 2022, where his character was gay too. He shared significant similarities with the character on screen. He said, Uh, There's a lot about Aaron Shepard, my character, that... I can relate to um, being a gay man and growing up in the 90s, early 2000s, and sort of uh, struggles of masculinity and identity. Talk about being true to yourself both on and off the screen. Now, let's talk about Hallmark. Luke has become a familiar face on the Hallmark channel, stealing hearts in their feel-good movies like The Memory Book, The Mistletoe Promise, and Christmas Land. He's got that special something that just clicks with Hallmark viewers bringing an extra dose of heart and authenticity to every role. Who would have thought this guy could play straight characters so convincingly when he's rocking his gay identity in real life? That's some serious talent right there. But wait, there's more. Luke's not just an actor and a musician. He's a total music enthusiast. He's been tickling the ivories and belting out tunes since he was a young gun. He's even taken his musical talents to the stage, performing in various musical theater productions. 
And get this, he's released his very own album, self-titled and jam-packed with a mix of folk, pop, and country vibes. His lyrics are all about his own experiences and emotions, giving us a real glimpse into his soul. This guy is the real deal, juggling multiple creative passions like a boss. So keep an eye out for Luke McFarlane, because he's making waves in the entertainment industry. He's not just your average actor, he's a trailblazer, a heartthrob, and a voice for the LGBTQ plus community. With his talent, charm, and dedication to his craft, there's no doubt he'll continue to captivate audiences and inspire us all, and allow us to keep inspiring you. Did you know 95% of our viewers are not currently subscribed to our channel? So please hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this video so we can continue making more. Now back to the video. All right, folks, let's talk about Ryan Pavey, the man who's making waves in the Hallmark movie scene. With his rugged good looks and undeniable charm, this guy has become everyone's favorite heartthrob. But here's the plot twist. While he's busy playing characters who are head over heels in love, Ryan is actually riding the single train in real life. Who saw that coming? Ryan's acting journey kicked off when he scored a gig on the popular soap opera General Hospital back in 2013. His portrayal of Nathan West quickly won over fans and created a loyal following. Riding on the soap opera success, he then made his way to the enchanting world of Hallmark movies, and boy, did he find his sweet spot. In the Hallmark universe, Ryan has become the go-to guy for romantic leading roles. Whether he's playing a charming prince or a rugged cowboy, this guy knows how to sweep his on-screen love interests off their feet. And the secret to his success? It's all about that sincerity and authenticity he brings to every character. Talk about melting hearts left and right. Now here's the juicy tidbit. Despite his knack for romance on the silver screen, Ryan has been flying solo in his personal life. Bet that comes as a surprise to all those fans who can't help but get caught up in his dreamy performances. But hey, let's remember that actors often keep their private lives separate from their on-screen personas. It's all part of the showbiz game. Talking about his off-screen personality, here's a message he delivered about the movie, Don't Go Breaking My Heart. It's going through a breakup is um, let it go. Let the person go. You know, every time you you bring more of that energy into your life, there's a timer inside you that's like to time to heal. Aside from his romantic escapades, Ryan Pavey has become a staple in the Hallmark movie lineup. We're talking about flicks like Unleashing Mr. Darcy, where he played the dashing and wealthy Mr. Darcy, and its sequel, Marrying Mr. Darcy, that kept the love story going strong. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. He flexed his acting chops in films like A Summer Romance and From Friend to Fiance, proving that he's got range. But what really sets Ryan apart is his ability to make us believe in love. He's got this genuine warmth that seeps through the screen, making us root for his character's love stories to unfold. No wonder he's got fans swooning and coming back for more. This guy knows how to make us believe in the power of love. One thing's for sure though, Ryan's talent and charisma have secured him a special place in the hearts of Hallmark movie lovers everywhere. Accompanying Taylor Cole, this actor best known as the second male model on the US TV show, The Price is Right. James O'Halloran, the Australian actor known for his modeling work on the American version of The Price is Right, is about to make his mark in the world of Hallmark movies. It all started when he appeared on the American game show, The Price is Right, and boy did he make an impact. With his irresistible charm and captivating personality, O'Halloran quickly stole the hearts of viewers everywhere. Who could resist his infectious enthusiasm? Not the audience, that's for sure. Here's a bonus preview. I'm from Australia. First thing I wanted to say is a huge thank you to everyone who voted. It's so amazing to be here with you and uh, I can't thank you enough. Man. In his first leading role in film for Hallmark, titled When Love Springs, O'Halloran is ready to show a different side of himself. In an exclusive interview with Media Village, he revealed that growing up in Australia, he wasn't familiar with the Hallmark Channel. However, after moving to the United States in 2014, he discovered it and became interested in working with them. He even admitted to being a fan, saying, yes, I've watched their movies. For O'Halloran, this project was a brand new experience and he instantly felt like part of the Hallmark family. He had a wonderful time working with the team and found the atmosphere to be warm and welcoming. Comparing it to The Price is Right, which he considers an institution, he recognized that Hallmark also has a special place in the industry. Their focus on uplifting and positive stories resonated with him, and he appreciated how they shared these stories with the world. This positive outlook created an environment on set where everyone was incredibly nice and friendly. O'Halloran couldn't help but feel like he was being embraced by a big, loving family. 
His remarkable success on The Price is Right opened doors that he never could have imagined. Crown Media Network saw his star potential and knew they had to snatch him up. Joining the Hallmark family was a bold leap for O'Halloran, leaving behind his modeling and game show days to venture into the unpredictable world of media and acting. But guess what? He aced the transition effortlessly and is continuing to do so. James Denton, the charismatic actor we all know and love from his delightful roles in Hallmark movies, had an absolutely shocking journey before he conquered the entertainment industry. Can you believe it? Before he graced our screens with his irresistible charm, Denton was actually a sales superstar. Born and raised in Nashville, Tennessee, Denton initially pursued a career in advertising and sales. He spent years mastering the art of communication and building connections with clients. But who could have guessed that his true calling lay elsewhere? Here is the shocking bit. He hated his job. Denton had endured five agonizing years hustling ads for newspapers, radio, and TV, earning his bread on commission. He had perfected the art of barging into unfamiliar territory and persuading struggling mom-and-pop shop owners to shell out for ads they couldn't really afford. The catch? Denton despised every minute of it. I'd come home and dread the thought of those poor souls throwing away their hard-earned cash, he confided to the Columbus Dispatch. It ate me up inside. I was simply not built for this ruthless game. I was way too tender-hearted. In a jaw-dropping twist of fate, Denton decided to take a leap of faith and pursue acting. Talk about a plot twist. He shared in an interview. I've been doing community theater as a hobby um, because they thought I would, for some reason, thought I would be good at it. So I did it and fell in love with it and, you know, got some silly, nice little reviews in local papers. Starting from scratch, he enrolled in acting classes and bravely auditioned for various roles, hoping to make his mark in the industry. And boy, did Denton's hard work pay off. He landed the role of Mike Delfino in the mega hit series, Desperate Housewives, catapulting him to stardom and earning him rave reviews. Who would have thought that the charming plumber would become a household name? It's like something out of a Hollywood script. With the doors of opportunity wide open, Denton ventured into the enchanting world of Hallmark movies. Known for their heartwarming and feel-good stories, these films provided the perfect platform for Denton to showcase his incredible talent and connect with audiences on a deep emotional level. Soon enough, he became a sensation among Hallmark fans, starring in beloved movies like Stranded in Paradise, For Love and Honor, and A Kiss Before Christmas. Who can resist his irresistible charm? It's clear that Denton's dedication and passion for his craft shine through in every performance. He's truly a force to be reckoned with in the realm of feel-good entertainment. These actors are seriously gifted, and they've hustled their way to success. But here's the kicker. What shocked you the most about him? Drop a comment below. And hey, if you've stuck around this far, we are pretty sure you liked the video. So hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for some more epic content. Thanks for watching, everyone.